for this evening. She's going to be the electric woman. Oh, yeah. But, but before you take a look, I, I just explain how it all works, because what happens is she's standing on a box at the moment. There's the box, right? right. And it builds up 25,000 volts of electricity. Now, to protect her, if you take a look down here... Oi, three, get down here. Right. Take a look at this. <laughs> oh, how very nice. They are kind of Doc Martins. They are genuine Doc Martins to insulate her, but she builds up this aura of electricity. Now, for Pete's sake, please don't try this one at home. We are doing this with professionals here this evening. She's not a professional, but we have professionally trained her. Don't try this at home at all, right? Now, what, what do you think you can do? What sort of things can you do? Light up tubes. Light up tubes, all sorts of things. Well, look, we've got... Look, we need to have a quick drink here. Do you want a quick drink before we carry on? Because I know you've got to have a nice, moist mouth. <coughs> you're trying... Have a drink. <coughs> Guess what's happened, Noel? It didn't work. No, I'll tell you what's happened, shall I? What? Someone's forgotten to switch the box on, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that back over there, shall we? <laughs> shall I try and find someone to wring their neck? Just lift your finger and put I'll, it down on that plate. I'll just try a little bit of fine adjustment round the back. Hang on. No, it's not going to come on, Noel. You See? are a technical wizard, aren't you? Yes, I absolutely am, Noel. Well, coming up later on this evening, Noel, <laughs> on the Late Late Breakfast Show, uh, we will have Samantha at the top of the high wire and uh, we'll also have a stagehand with 25,000 volts of electricity going straight up his bum. <laughs> Are you, are you serious? Is it really packed up? No, it's knackered. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, well... Let's just try, let's just try this. Here's a, here's a fluorescent tube, Noel. Yeah, right, got... you are still there. You haven't gone to the other side yet, have you? No, good, <laughs> right. Here's a fluorescent tube with no wires attached. No <laughs> wires attached at all. <laughs> try holding that. Now, let's just see if we can get this thing to work. Is it going to work? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work, did it? No, it's not. Well, I tell you what, I was going to get a gag in about the electric light orchestra, but um, that's not going to work either, is it now? No, we'll, 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 come, we'll come back to you when you've paid the bill. It's not often you get weeks like this on the show, is it, Noel? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, you masochists out there who really love to watch us sweating on the top line. Yes, I'm afraid that appears to have broken. See? Yeah. We, we've got Samantha Olney up here. She's still in one piece. The electric thing never did work. Somebody had swi forgotten to switch it on, hadn't they? Yes, that's Yeah. Right. Anyway, our Doc Martins were going to project her anyway. Now, you've got no Doc Martins on up here, have you? No. We are about uh, 20, 25 feet, Noel, above the stage of the Hippodrome at the moment. And she's about to step out onto this thing called the Sphere of Fear. Now, if you've joined us late this evening, first of all, bad marks for joining us late. But you would have missed us talking to Samantha at the start of the <laughs> programme where you told us that this week you, you opted to come on the Whirly Wheel, you chose you last week and everything, you came here this week, and then you discovered that what? I'm just very scared. I've just got a bit of, you know, just afraid of heights. You're afraid of heights? more than I thought I would be. Well, we've trained her through the week this week, and this underlines the point once again that there's no way that, that uh, Samantha here is a professional at all. She's a secretary. You work in North London, don't you? Yes. 18 years old. It is entirely up to you now as to what you want to do. You can step out on there and have a go at it. Will you do that? Yeah, I'll have a go. You'll have a go. Yeah. Good girl. Right, she's going to have a go. It's up to you. It's up to you. So, she uh, gets herself together. That's uh, Peter Rag, one of our BBC people, to help her into position on top of the, the Sphere of Fear. Okay, and it's called Max on. Murray's Sphere of Fear. <laughs> and Max Murray's the guy who actually... Uh, put this entire thing together. He does it professionally around the country and has erected all the equipment here inside the Hippodrome this week and trained Samantha as well. She is 20, 25 feet above the stage at the moment and it's beginning to roll. She has to get out there and roll that along the wires. Now, when you look at those wires, you will see that there's a gradient. So it actually goes up the further out she goes and she goes up to a maximum height of about 35 feet. Now, also, she goes out there, of course, there's a, a droop on the cables, and that can cause the thing to be even harder to push. She's not yet free of the tower. She's feeling her way gently in. It takes great concentration, this, and you have to bear with her as she starts off, because as soon as she lets go of the tower, that is the point of no return. She's got to keep pedaling that backwards. And there goes... A hand free from Peter. 
Still got our hand on the safety wire that we've got here. That's just so she can steady herself. Now, remember that there's... She's talking to Peter and trying to get the position right. She's tried this out. She's been practicing through the week. But the cameras are here, the lights are here, and there's a crowd of people watching her. And it's going to be very, very difficult for Samantha. But I think she's out there. She's OK. I'm keeping my voice nice and low because I'm not too far away from her. There she goes. Now, she's got to deserve a round of applause for getting that far anyway. That is just tremendous to get out that far. She's free and away from the tower. Now, she has to keep the focal point, her eyes. She's been told she must focus them towards the tower here. She keeps looking at her feet at the moment, which is a natural inclination, but she's been told to focus towards the tower to keep something rock steady in her line of sight so that she keeps her balance. The sphere moving out inch by inch. I am uh, perspiring here. <laughs> this is the most nerve-wracking thing. Look at her go. Look, she's got the speed up. She's got the speed up. Looking at her face, she keeps wobbling her little chin backwards and forwards as if she's not too happy. We haven't pushed her. We said to her, you've got the option. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. And she said, I want to do it. So that's what she's doing live at the moment. She's having a go, which is what the Whirly Wheel is all about. Play your cards right, you could be here next week. There she goes. Now, will she make it all the way to the other side of the Hippodrome stage? A lot of people watching her here. Eyes, necks, looking upwards. Oh, hang on. I think she's saying she wants to stop. What do you, she's got a radio microphone on. We can have a word. Samantha, can you talk to us? You, are you stopping? Yeah, I want to stop. You want to stop? That's all right. You got out there halfway. <laughs> She's got the safety wire to hang on to. If, if you can bear with us for a couple of seconds. Well, you know, Mike, we, we ran a, a camera this afternoon. I don't think Samantha knows about it. Can we, can we show that clip of Samantha this afternoon when she was... We're just, we're ju just sorting she's it out. Find it. She, I don't think she knew. Did she, did she know that we were running this? No, she didn't. I mean... Right, she, OK, now we can show it. this now. She didn't know we were running this, this shot this afternoon. And this just shows the courage of this young lady who found out at the beginning of this week, unknown to her, that she has, has actually got a fear of heights. And um, this afternoon, she was so determined to go through with this and make sure that she could do it this evening that she got up on that globe and she got it all the way to the top. And I reckon that really requires some guts. And I'm pleased that we're able to show that because that is no loss of face for Samantha Olney, who has done brilliantly to even get on that globe. Can you hear me all right? She can, can, can she hear me? Well, Smitty, can you just have a word with her? Yeah, well, she, she, she's just concentrating. We've, we're putting a ladder up to the side of the globe. You can probably see we have a taller scope ladder here just to try and get her off the, the top of the globe. Samantha, if you want to stay still for just a second and have a chat. I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a wicked thing to do, but this is television. Um, you, you, you did it this afternoon absolutely brilliantly. Is that, was that just... It was just the nerves of being on television that has stopped you doing that there? Yeah, I just, I just don't think I could have done it well, as well as I could. Well, look, let's not keep you hanging around too much longer. Let's well bring, you, bring the tower out to you. Many congratulations to you. You've done brilliantly well. She's only 18 years old. <laughs> and, uh, now, <laughs> while she sorts herself out, hopefully... Are you on there, Tom? I am, yeah. I understand from British Telecom, in fact, they had a problem with the entire exchange. It wasn't your personal phone. <laughs> but at least I made contact with you. Having seen Samantha do that, are you looking forward to next week's show? I am, yeah. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> well, we've got, we've got a marvellous show planned for you next week, and I think you'll have a whole lot of fun with it.
All right, Tom, I'm glad I had a chance to talk to you. I'm afraid I've got to go. We've got five seconds. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. He'll be on the show next week. We're on the air at 10 to 6, earlier time. 10 to 6.